You hear that, guys? Rain. When I was a wee lad, my older cousin once told me that rain is just God pissing all over us. I have no idea why that stuck with me. Maybe because he had a level 100 Charizard that destroyed me, and so I really respected him. So I took everything he had said word for word and as the truth. Great guy, great guy. Brethren, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of How to Be Happy. My name is Brendan Chaw, and today we'll be talking about what rain can teach us about life. So, guys, before I move any further, make sure you click the subscribe button, click the bell icon so that you can know whenever I post a video about how men, young men especially, can live their most happiest, most fulfilled life. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. So make sure you click the like button because it really helps me a lot in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. So what do you think about when you know that rain is going to happen today or tomorrow or for the whole week? If you're anything like me in the past, you would think that rain was a nuisance. It destroyed your plans. It's wet. It's cold. You have to stay indoors. That was me. Even yesterday. But it wasn't until I sat down to make this video that I realized there's so much rain can teach us about life to be adaptable, to change, to wash away all that is unnecessary, to take a step back and relax. Do you guys remember as a child when you're in the passenger seat or in the back seat and you're looking at the droplets of rain on the windowsill and you're seeing a race, you're making these races out of nothing and you see these two droplets coming and this one comes faster and then out of the this one's come faster, picks up speed and it catches all the other droplets and then it gets bigger and bigger and it beats the other one. You're like, woo! I rooted for that one. If you never had that as a child, I'm sorry, you were never a child. You missed out on life, guys. I'm sorry to say that, but it's the truth. Because us as children, we're all about being in the present moment. We didn't know it back then, but now with hindsight, I realize that children are so in the moment. That's why they're so happy. That's why they're so energetic. That's why they're so expressive. That's why when they get pissed off, they're like, let it all out. They let out a tantrum like, ah, they just scream because they're in the present moment where they want to just release everything and they just absorb everything, release everything all in now because they realize that now is all we have. They're not focused on the future. They're not focused on the past. They're just here now. And so guys, I feel like as children, we are naturally fascinated and curious about rain and what it has to teach us and offer, but we didn't know what. But we knew that rain was integral. It was essential to life. And so when I think of rain, it's water, H2O. Why does Bruce Lee tell us to be like water? Water is adaptable takes on any shape of the container that you put in it, put it into. It takes the path of least resistance. When it's coming down, it's going down a hill. It never goes up the hill unless you pump it up. You need pressure to force it up. But if it's just coming down, it flows with gravity. I think that is very profound because rain can teach us about going down and relaxing, taking the path of least resistance, going with the flow of the river of life. So right now I had to be adaptable. I, 
at first I was like, oh, this rain is pissing me off. I want to make this video. This background noise is going to mess it up. But I used it to my advantage. I was like, why don't I make a video about rain? That could be something different. So that's another thing. Rain forces us to go with the flow. It forces us to reflect. Literally, it creates puddles on the floor so you can see your reflection, to see yourself. Back in the days, caveman days, there were no mirrors. The only way that we could see ourselves was in the reflection of water. <laughs> that was some connection with source energy right then. I just got that right now. That's crazy. Whoa. Reflection. Rain helps us to reflect on everything in our lives. Whether that be our relationships, our careers, ourselves, our health. Rain is a blessing. Rain is symbolic of washing away all that is unnecessary, all that is unneeded, all that is weighing us down. So guys, next time you see a rain cloud and you hear a thunderstorm, remember it's nature's way, it's the universe's way of letting us know that it's time to Reflect, think about all that's happening right now. What can you do better? What can you get rid of? What can you add? So guys, if you watched till the end of this video, I really appreciate you because we're all in this together. The more I help you, the more you help me. Rain. I don't know what else to say, but thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. Make sure you click the subscribe button because I post every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday about how millennial men can live a more, more happier and more fulfilled life. Make sure you click the like button because it helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. Bless.